Hi! So this is going to be uh, my Disney tag video. I've never been tagged in a video before, uh, but I was tagged. I gotta get my list because I wrote it down. Um, for a couple of different questions for Disney. So, uh, long story short, Disney is like my life. So I'm a little bit obsessed. Uh, I have a premium pass to Disneyland. I go a lot. Um, I'm involved with Disney things. Uh, I wear Disney-related stuff on a daily basis, which I kind of thought, I'm like, I'm going to get all gobbed up of everything I have, but I have so much that I couldn't wear like 5,000 different shirts and stuff. So I wore my Aurora crown, and I always wear my Cinderella necklace, and then I have my my disapproving Bambi sweater, because he's so disapproving. That's when Feline kisses him. And then my um, my wishing well necklace, my Snow White wishing well necklace, and Octavius. So I put some stuff, and I'm wearing my Cinderella lip, like collection. So uh, here we go, I guess. I'll just start right into it. And these are the hardest questions of my life, because I love Disney so much, it's hard to pick one. But, of course, the first one is favorite movie. Favorite Disney movie. Uh, they all mean so many different things, but, gosh, I didn't want to pause and, like, not know. Uh, I guess if I'd have to say it would probably be... Movie-wise, like, in a sense of, okay, I'm going to base it, <laughs> I'm going to base it on um, how it was filmed and um, the, the impact on society that it had at the time. So I'm going to say Beauty and the Beast, which, if you actually know me, I'm not the biggest B&B &B fan. My couple of my friends are, but I'm not the biggest Beauty and the Beast fan. But for a film as itself, that was an amazing film. Um... Hunchback and Notre Dame is pretty high up there. Uh, Snow White and Cinderella is pretty high up there. Like I would name, I would probably say Cinderella for the whole thing. So Cinderella is pretty much also my favorite movie. But Beauty and the Beast for an actual film, I would say is probably one of the best films um, made by Disney. So top five movies. That's a lot better question. So uh, no order for mine whatsoever. Cinderella, Little Mermaid, uh, Sleeping Beauty. Snow White. Oh, how do I have one now? Why are it? Uh, what would be the last one? Uh, um, I feel like I'm going to totally forget some one of them, and then I'm going to be like, why? Uh, Aladdin. Aladdin's great, too. So those are my five. Least favorite. Um, for animated, I would say The Rescuers. Not Rescuers Down Under, but The Rescuers. The reason why is because I can't really stand the music in it. Not particularly the ones that, that the characters sing, but the, the lady that sings all like the 70s sounding songs. I'm not a big 70s music fan. So I would say The Rescuers. Even though Medusa's hilarious, um, it's just, it's probably my least favorite film. Uh, favorite hero, why? That is really hard. Um, because there's a question saying favorite princess, I'm not going to choose a princess. My favorite hero. Hmm. Probably. Probably. Probably Quasimodo from Hunchback Notre Dame. Um, actually the girl who tagged me said that as well, but, uh, he's an amazing character. He's somebody that really should be is really a role model and I think for what he did especially being stepped up in that tower I mean he's basically like the kind of the male version of Rapunzel where he was stuck up in that tower and uh for all of the things that he did and really not you know technically getting the girl at the end and the stereotypical ones he was uh he's an amazing character I love Quasimodo um out there I believe that's the title is probably one of my favorite songs of all time. It's beautiful. It gives me chills. And that, that movie was a beautiful movie. So, um, Quasimodo for that. Uh, cause I'm already at five minutes. 
Uh, favorite prince. Mm, Prince Philip was my favorite as a kid. Um, I think he's fun. I, I thought he was, and he fights Maleficent, and uh, I think for back, especially back in the classics, he had more personality than most. Um, I've always been physically attracted to Eric, but oh, but then see, technically, no, not Philip, the Beast, Prince Adam, because he is the he is a prince at the end. He's a prince, and he is just an amazing, fun character. So I'm gonna say Prince Adam from Beauty and the Beast. Uh, favorite princess and why? Um, Cinderella, hands down. She's my favorite. Um, I love her grace. I love her attitude towards situations that she had. A lot of people think she was a pushover, but if you actually pay attention to the movie, she really isn't. I mean, she does talk back to her stepmother. She does stand up for herself in a certain way, in a graceful way. Um, she is going to, you know, spank Lucifer with the broom after he dirtied up the floor that she had been working all day but the doorbell rung and saved him so she she has attitude but she always faced um, negativity with such positivity and such hope and that's so like for me that that's so beautiful and I want to be that I strive to be have that kind of outlook every day so Cinderella is my favorite princess hands down um which prince do I relate to I relate more to Rapunzel um, I'm an only child. I was kind of kept inside a lot. I don't want to say anything like really negative about my family, but, um, let's just say that I was inside a lot and, um, I learned the most random stuff from books and things. I have the most random hobbies and activities and it's pretty much all, like, I'm like a Jill of all trades and I feel like that's Rapunzel and how she, um, is so humble with everything that she gets. Um, if you know me in real life, that's a lot like me. So I relate so much to Rapunzel. I actually kind of wish that that was made when I was a little girl because it would have been like, oh, this makes so much sense. Plus, when I was little, I have natural gold hair, like golden hair. It's very similar to this color. And my hair has always, like up until I moved out here to LA four years ago, my hair has always been past my butt. Always. And I was actually teased as a little girl. They teased me and called me Rapunzel because of how long my hair was. So I wish that came out when I was younger, but I'm still happy it came out. So definitely, definitely Rapunzel. Um, which Disney villain would I be and why? Maleficent. I love Maleficent. I know she's popular. I don't care. I used to pretend I was Maleficent as a little girl instead of playing as Aurora because I love Maleficent. I think she she's evil, but she's not she doesn't go out of her way to be evil. I mean, quite honestly, if you pay attention to the film, she thought she was invited to this party. She was basically embarrassed and told that she wasn't. And then she was like, all right, fine, I'm killing your firstborn. Like, she didn't inherently go in saying, I'm gonna kill you. She actually was just there to be there because she thought she was an honored guest and they embarrassed her in front of the entire kingdom. Um, I love her grace. I love her subtle evil. She's just... I just love her. Like, if I was an evil person, I would be like her, except for I wouldn't, you know, kill children. But still, I, I like her attitude. So she's my favorite. Um, character do you look like? That's weird to say. Um, I play, I am, am friends with Snow White for different, com like, not different companies, but for different situations. Um, and I have been known for my Snow White um, interpretations and performance. So I've been told that I look like Snow White a lot. Um, but I've also thrown people off because once I do my makeup and my wig a certain way, I tend to somewhat resemble the other ones. So, um, but I guess people have said that I look like Snow White the most. So I, I guess Snow White, which you probably are like, no, you don't look like Snow White at all. But You'd be surprised what makeup and hair would do. Um, favorite Disney love song? Oh, uh, one song, Snow White, Prince uh, Ferdinand sings to Snow White. I love that song. I sing that song almost every day. I love that song. So one song, Snow White. Uh, Favorite I want song. I don't get what that question means. Like, I want. So I'm assuming it's what it's the character singing how much they want something. So Little Mermaid, part of your world. That's probably it. If that's what it's meant to be. Um, 
Favorite villain song? Ooh, because Maleficent doesn't sing. Hmm. Um, Be Prepared is pretty good. Um, Hellfire, Hellfire that Frollo sings in, yeah, Hellfire that Frollo sings in Hunchback and Dumb. That's a beautiful song. That, I, that song's great. So that one. Um, which movie scared me? Okay, Alice in Wonderland. I have a fear of being alone, like not alone. Um, I actually like being alone. I have a fear of being left behind or being lost. And um, that movie, it was one of the one of the first couple of VHSs that I owned as a child. And I literally would sit there and cry and beg my mom to fast forward it when she got lost. Like, I can't stand that movie. I know there's going to be a lot of Alice in Wonderland people that are like, you're terrible. I, l I have no disrespect for Alice in Wonderland. Personally, it drives me nuts. So uh, the idea of her being lost in the towards the end of the movie before she finds before Chess finds her and she goes to the Queen of Hearts um, garden, I that freaked me out as a kid. So Alice in Wonderland scared me. Um, and first Disney movie that I think was Fantasia. I think it was Fantasia. I saw my first movie ever, I was three, and it was Land Before Time, but that wasn't Disney. I think it was Fantasia, at least I remember it was. But, it, you know, in 89, that came up pretty close afterwards. I was five, so, and I saw Little Mermaid. But I, I, I know I saw Fantasia in theaters when I was really little, and I saw Snow White in theaters when I was really little. But I think it was Fantasia. So that, that's it. That's the last one. So uh, that's my Disney tag. Uh, I wish I learned how to like do editing so I can like click in and out like pause like people do and and I wish I had a good voice so I could sing like some people do but I don't so that's my favorite one. Um, I've always loved Disney and quite honestly I'm super happy that the merchandise is uh, more available now for adults like my sweaters and my jewelry and all that because then I can continue to show my love for Disney. So, um, yeah. And if, you know, I go to Disneyland like once a week. So if anyone's at Disneyland and you see me, um, say hi. And, uh, I guess I need to tag people in this, but I don't know who to tag. But, uh, if you want to do like a video response to this, uh, and do your own, please do. And, uh, yeah. So hope you guys liked it. And, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your night. Bye.